Ever plugged a USB into your computer and wondered why some ports are blue, others are black, and some are even red? Well, those colors aren't just for looks. They're actually hiding a secret speed code that could be costing you hours of wasted time. Picture this. You're transferring a massive 4K video file. You plug into what looks like a normal black port, grab a coffee, come back 30 minutes later, and it's only 30% done. Meanwhile, that blue port right next to it could have finished the job in three minutes. Frustrating, right? By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which port to use for every situation. And trust me, once you learn this, you'll never look at your computer the same way again. Let's rewind to 1996. White ports, the ancient dinosaurs. White USB ports are basically the fossils of the tech world. And let me tell you, they're slow in ways that'll make you question how we survived the late 90s. Born in 1996, these USB 1.X ports crawled along at a painful 1.5 to 12 megabits per second. And here's the kicker. Data could only flow in one direction at a time. It's like trying to have a conversation where only one person can talk and they speak really, really slowly with long pauses between every single word. These ports were fine for simple stuff like keyboards and mice back in the day, devices that barely needed any bandwidth. But by today's standards, absolutely ancient and practically unusable. Transferring even a single high-quality photo would take forever and forget about music files or anything larger. If you spot a white port on a computer today, congratulations, you've basically discovered a tech museum piece that belongs in a display case next to floppy disks, dial-up modems, and CD-ROM drives. These relics remind us just how far technology has come in less than two and a half decades, and honestly, we should be grateful we don't have to deal with these speeds anymore. Black Ports, the Reliable Workhorse Enter the year 2000, the black USB 2.0 port arrives and changes everything overnight. At 480 megabits per second, this was a massive leap forward, literally 40 times faster than the original white ports, which felt like going from a horse-drawn carriage to an actual automobile. Still stuck with one direction data flow, which wasn't ideal, but fast enough for your everyday gear. Keyboards, mice, webcams, printers, external hard drives, and flash drives. It's like upgrading from a bicycle to a decent family car that'll get you where you need to go. Sure, it's not winning any races, and transferring large video files will absolutely test your patience. But for simple peripherals and everyday tasks, black ports absolutely crush it and deliver exactly what most people need. They're the most common ports you'll find today, reliable, universal, and perfectly adequate for 90% of basic tasks you throw at them. Even in 2025, billions of devices worldwide still use USB 2.0 because for most everyday purposes, it's simply good enough, incredibly cost-effective, and manufacturers know it works flawlessly with virtually everything. And hey, if you're finding this useful, smash that subscribe button and drop a comment telling me what color USB port you have the most of. Let's see if anyone still has white ports lurking around. Blue ports. The speed demon arrives. 2008 brought us the Blue Revolution, USB 3.0, nicknamed Super Speed USB. And this is where things get seriously, genuinely exciting for anyone who moves data regularly. Hold on to your seat. 5 gigabits per second. That's over 10 times faster than those black USB 2.0 ports, which felt like ancient overnight. But here's what really matters and what changed the game completely. Remember that annoying one-direction data flow problem that plagued earlier USB versions? Completely solved and obliterated. Blue ports can send and receive data simultaneously, like having a proper two-way highway instead of a frustrating single-lane road with traffic jams. It's like upgrading from that family car to a legitimate sports car that makes every trip faster and more enjoyable. These are absolutely perfect for external SSDs, transferring high-resolution photos from professional cameras, or moving massive 4K video files in minutes instead of hours of waiting around. The technology also brought significantly improved power delivery, meaning you can charge devices faster than ever before. Pro tip, though, if you plug an old USB 2.0 device into a blue port, you're still limited by that slower device. The chain is only as fast as its weakest link, unfortunately. Teal Ports, the overachiever. 
In 2013, the tech world decided that even 5 gigabits per second wasn't enough, so they created Teal ports, USB 3.1 Gen 1, also called Super Speed USB Plus. These beauties double the speed of blue ports, reaching an impressive 10 gigabits per second while maintaining backward compatibility with every previous USB generation. They're still using that classic USB-A shape you know and love, but they're packing serious performance underneath. Think of them as the valedictorian of the USB family, overachieving, reliable, and making everyone else look a bit slow. While they're not as common as blue ports, when you find teal, you've hit the jackpot for data transfer speed combined with universal compatibility and excellent power delivery capabilities. Red ports, the speed king. Now we're entering the big leagues. Red ports, introduced in 2017, represent USB 3.1 Gen 2 or USB 3.2 technology, delivering absolutely blistering speeds between 10 to 20 gigabits per second. That's the fastest you'll find on traditional USB-A ports. We're talking Ferrari-level performance here. Initially, these were exclusive to premium gaming motherboards and high-end workstations. But today, they're becoming standard on modern PCs. But wait, many Red ports hide a secret superpower. They stay powered even when your entire computer is shut down. That means you can charge your phone, camera, or power bank overnight without leaving your PC running. Just remember, not all red ports have this always-on feature. So definitely check your motherboard manual to confirm what your specific ports can do. Yellow ports, the night shift worker. Yellow ports are hands down the laptop lover's best friend. And once you experience this feature, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. These typically run at USB 3.0 speeds, delivering up to 5 gigabits per second, which is plenty fast for most tasks. But here's the absolute magic. They have that always-on charging capability built right in. Computer completely shut down? Battery dead on your phone? Zero problems. Just plug into that yellow port and charge away without even touching your power button. It's such an elegantly simple feature that feels like pure luxury once you have it, especially for travelers, students, or anyone constantly on the move. No more choosing between a charged laptop and a charged phone. Yellow ports let you have both, effortlessly. Orange ports, the rare gem. Orange ports are the unicorns of the USB world. Rare, beautiful, and genuinely special when you encounter them. Similar to their yellow cousins, orange ports feature that incredibly convenient always-on charging capability, keeping power flowing even when your system is completely powered down. They typically follow USB 3.0 standards, offering respectable speeds up to 5 gigabits per second for data transfer. You won't spot these often on consumer-grade PCs or laptops. They're more common in specialized workstations or certain server configurations. When manufacturers do include them, it's usually a sign of attention to detail and quality engineering. If your device has orange ports, treat them like the VIP connections they are, perfect for overnight charging or powering essential peripherals. Now here's where I blow your mind. These colors don't actually matter when buying a PC. Manufacturers can paint ports any color they want. Some gaming PCs have all black ports for aesthetics, even though some are USB 2.0 and others are USB 3.1. The color is just a hint, not a guarantee. Want to know the actual speed? Look for the SS symbol next to the port, or better yet, check your motherboard or laptop specs online. That's the only way to know for sure. Now, the